it's another day we look at a question a revision question on uh, business data analytics specifically on area of uh, financial management area of financial management a question testing on um, uh, npv yeah npv remember npv is under evaluation of projects whether we shall accept a project or whether a project is viable or a project is not viable and you're using the evaluation criteria of uh, NPV, NPV. And just a reminder, if you are new to this channel, kindly consider subscribing. If you are new, consider subscribing to this particular channel. So back to the question, and I'll read through. Pila Limited is considering to purchase a new machine so as to improve its production process, which is currently being undertaken manually. The machine costs 1350. The firm will incur installation cost of 450,000. The machine will have an economic useful life of six years, but will require an overhaul at the end of the fourth year. So at the end of the fourth year, we shall be having an overhaul. The overhaul will cost 1125, 1,125,000. Then after six years, the machine will be disposed of for 900,000. So we shall have to dispose the machine for 900,000. The company estimates that it will cost 2100 per year to operate the new machine. So the operation cost of the new machine will be 2.1. The current manual production method costs 52.50 per annum. So the current one costs 52. It means we shall be saving up. We shall no longer incur 52, but we shall incur 21. In addition to reducing annual operating cost, the new machine will allow the company to increase the production capacity by 120 thousand units per annum so we shall have an incremental in the production capacity of 120,000 units per annum the company realizes a contribution margin of 45 per unit so we are having a contribution margin of 45 per unit additional the company applies a straight line method of depreciation and again corporate tax rate is 30 percent and filler limited requires a 20 percent return a return it should be on all investment, return on all investment. So you are required using the net present value project evaluation method, advise Pila Limited on whether or not to purchase the machine. So you need to advise them whether they should purchase the machine or not, whether or not to purchase the machine. So if we can look at my workings here, to summarize what we have, what we have so the first thing uh, that you have been given uh, in this case we know the cost yeah the cost of the machine so the cost of the machine is uh, 13950 13950 13 950000 13950 let me format this yeah that way the cost of the machine the firm will incur installation. You have what you call installation. Installation costs of this machine of 450. 450,000. And when we include the installation costs, whatever we get, we call it depreciable costs. Depreciable. Depreciable costs. Depreciable costs because the installation forms part of the initial cost of the machine. Eh? So the amount that will depreciate will be that total of uh, 14,400. That will be our depreciable costs, depreciable costs. Then the useful life we know is six years, but it will require an overhaul at the end of the fourth year. So we have overhaul cost, overhaul cost, overhaul cost at end of fourth year, end of uh, fourth year. At the end of fourth year, we shall require an overhaul. Overhaul means major repairs. Overhaul is major repair. So we shall incur a major repair cost of 11.25 at the end of the fourth year. Then after six years, the machine could be disposed for 900. So we shall have the disposal. Yeah, disposal cost or disposal proceeds. Let's call it proceeds. Disposal proceeds of 900. Disposal proceeds of 900,000. 900,000, that is at the end of the sixth year, we shall have that disposal process. Then 
there's another statement. The company estimates that it will cost 21 per year to operate the new machine. Operation cost of the new operating, operating costs of the new of the new machine. Operating cost of the new machine it will be 2.1. 2.1 and we have uh, the current manual production method cost so operating cost of the old operating operating cost so here I'll write the old operating cost of the old machine so old machine cost 5250 meaning we have something we call savings on cost savings and cost. So we shall no longer incur 52 because the new one will cost what? 21. Huh? So we shall save what? As a result of buying the new machine, we shall be saving uh, 3150 per annum. 3150 per annum. 3150 per annum is the amount of cost that we shall be saving. Then uh, it will allow the company to increase production. So increase in production increase in production in production units so we shall be able to increase our production units by 120,000 120,000 per annum those are the units that we shall be able to increase and the company realizes contribution margin of 45 so we are having contribution contribution margin of 45 shillings Contribution margin of 45 shillings. Then straight line depreciation, corporate tax. So our tax rate, our tax rate in this question is 30%, 30%, and our WCC. So this is 30%, and our WCC. So our work, WCC is 20%. Our 20. 20%. Yeah, that way. So this one is 20%. That way. And I think that's all that we have. Yeah, so now we can be able to do that was part of the workings that will enable us. Uh, we calculate of our calculation. Yeah, so we need to find whether whether or not, or not to purchase the machine. To purchase uh, the machine, the machine. Whether or not to purchase the machine. <clears throat> so whether or not, so whether we uh, supposed to have a T Yeah. So it's weather. Yeah, I think that one is okay. <clears throat> Whether or not. So we shall have the year one to six. Yeah, six years. Yeah, six years. That way. And uh, the first thing we shall have is contribution. Our contribution. We call it total. Total contribution. Contribution. <clears throat> Total contribution. Remember, we are making a contribution of 45 per year. 45 per year. So they will be constants. Huh? Yeah. So the selling the incremental units and the contribution per unit, they are the values that will remain constant over the period of six years. Yeah, that one will not be changing. Huh? So just lock that. And I will uh, autofill that. Allow me to highlight this portion. And uh, use a thousand, a thousand separator. Yeah, that way. So that is our question. Let me just reduce the size of our, um, yeah, that way. So that is our total contribution. The other thing, we have the operating 
operating cost, the savings on cost. We are saving, huh? we are saving on costs each year. We shall be saving that 150, we lock that. Again, these are constant that we shall be having, a constant that we shall be having for all the years, constant that we shall be having. The other thing that we shall be having is uh, the depreciation. Yeah, depreciation. Yeah, depreciation. Depre depreciation. Yeah, depreciation of the initial cost. Huh? So the initial costs, we had this, the depreciable cost, but it is not depreciating fully. I will open the bracket. We are having some salvage, salvage or disposal proceeds of that. It will not depreciate fully because it is straight line huh? for a period of six years, for a period of six years. So meaning each year, it will be depreciating at 2250, 2250. And you have what you call depreciation on overhaul. Depreciation on overhaul. On depreciation on overhaul. Overhaul. On overhaul cost. So remember the overhaul cost that we had. Uh, overhaul cost. And it is at the end of the fourth year, which we shall incur 11.25. So if you incur overhaul at the end of fourth year, it means it will only depreciate in year five and year six, the overhaul cost. Huh? So it shall depreciate overhaul here. Yeah. We take this, divide by two years. Overhaul will be depreciated only for two years. That is year five and year six. Year five and year six. And therefore, we shall have our depreciation. And remember, you can deal with it in two ways. Yeah, you can decide to deal with the depreciation or you deal with what you call the depreciation tax shield depreciation tax shield so our depreciation i can just use a negative negative this and it's a constant therefore we lock that amount and I, I will autofill that because it's a constant each year but the one for overhaul it's only for two years still i will lock year five and year six that is when you shall incur this year five and year six year five and year six I think those are the major things that we have. Yeah, the total contribution, the savings, and the depreciation. We get the profit before tax or earnings before tax, EBT. Our earnings before tax because we are having a tax letter. That's why we have included the what? We have included the depreciation, and you can work with the tax shield. So our earnings there, we shall have 63. And I will autofill this. Yeah, so those will be our earnings, and it is earnings before before tax. Earnings before tax. So we shall tax that. We shall calculate the tax. The tax expense. So our tax rate is that. I'll take negative. I'll take these. Multiplied by our tax rate of 30, which is a constant, which shall lock the tax rate. <clears throat> we get that as our expense for year one up to year six. Those will be our tax expense, tax expense. And we get the earnings after tax. Earnings after tax. The sum of the two will be our earnings after tax. This one. And again, we use the top, the top border. So we add back the depreciation. Add back the depreciation. Remember, depreciation is normally not a cash flow. We add back, and I now use a negative to convert it to, to convert it to positive. That way. So here we shall have a dash, and allow to fill this. Yeah, and you can find that it has converted them to positive now, and we shall get our cash flow. Yeah, our cash flow, our cash flow, our cash flow. So our cash flow will be again the sum from the earnings, earnings that way, and I will have to fill this. Again, I use the top. Border. So those will be our cash flows uh, after we have added back 
the depreciation after we have added back the depreciation cost the depreciation yeah that way and uh, the other item that we shall be having we just reduce this uh, we calculate what we have the overhaul and the disposal let me use the first the proceeds uh, disposal proceeds we shall receive them at the end after year six we shall take them at year six after the after the end of year six that's when we shall after six years uh, the machine could be disposed for 900 so it will be an inflow and uh, in year four year four year four we have the overhaul cost that we shall incur year four here we shall have to minus that the overhaul of 11.25 at the end of year four so our net cash flow net cash flow cash flow that now we shall discount net cash flow so our net cash flow will start from here the cash flow that we have there and i will auto fill this yeah, that so that is our cash flow that we shall have to discount now that's our cash flow that we shall have to discount and therefore our npv our npv i have not added for year zero we will have added the year zero but there's no problem npv for this particular project will be equals to npv you tab or you double click our rate to take the wcc which was 20 percent you take the values these cash flows uh, the cash flows that we have you close the bracket and you minus the initial remember the initial was the cost that we had uh, the depreciable cost this this is part of our initial cost 14400 uh, and uh, you enter and you'll find that you will be having an npv of uh, 17 uh, 76 31 as our npv as our npv before you make a decision yeah so that is our npv and therefore the question was uh using npv uh, advise filler limited on whether or not to purchase the machine so because npv is positive our advisor our advice our advisor we shall say filler limited filler limited filler limited should purchase should purchase should purchase should purchase the machine should purchase the machine because because it has uh, it has a positive positive uh, npv because it has a positive npv nah, that is a decision that you will give them a go ahead to purchase the npv so filler limited will purchase a machine because it has a positive npv and because of positive npv that means they will be guaranteed uh, to make all these uh, contributions and savings that we are having so they should go ahead and purchase the npv if they purchase the machine because npv is positive and that's how that question on NPV was supposed to be calculated. How that question on NPV was supposed to be calculated. Friendly, remember to continue to subscribe and to continue following this channel yeah, for more content, for more content as we revise and prepare for the August exam for BDA, Business Data Analytics, and uh, the others, uh, financial reporting, financial management, yeah, because you'll find that all these questions will come in hand whether you're doing financial management whether you're doing financial reporting you'll find out some questions that will come in hand to assist you in that particular area so that's all for this continue subscribing and following this channel thank you